Stain clothing is the first item that men should get rid of immediately, guys. Guys, if you've tried over and over again to get the stain out of, you know, a certain shirt or pants or whatever, it's not coming out. Guys, it's not coming out. It's, it's the time to pitch it and, you know, try to restock on a new item. I'm sure there's another item that'll come out that you'll like just as much if it hasn't already came out now. But, you know, when you have clothes and you wear them with a bunch of stains on them, it just looks more of like a raggedy, unkept look. So make sure you guys are doing your best to avoid stain clothing. It's not a very good look. Doesn't really, you know, present yourself to the best of your ability. The next thing that men need to be throwing out immediately is clothes that have lost their shape or been stretched out. So I'm talking about any of those clothes that you've put on the wrong hanger, you know, that have been stretched out, that have been tugged on um, unintentionally, that have lost their shape, unfortunately. Guys, once a clothing item loses shape, it's usually not coming back. So there's another opportunity where you guys need to, you know, start to develop that, you know, relationship where you can get rid of a clothing, piece of clothing that you may like, even though it's doesn't look good on you anymore is it's time to get rid of it you can replace it easily i'm sure like i said before something will come out that you'll like just as much or even better sweaters are another one as well i see guys wearing um because they're hanging them incorrectly so they have the little shoulder points on them once this happens guys it's, it's time to get rid of them so make sure you guys are avoiding this as well the next one on the list is socks with holes in them and i'm you know I will admit this one does sneak up on me a lot, especially when I get the little small holes in my socks. So I understand you guys that are doing this. So just make sure you guys are being cautious about it. Make sure you guys are checking your socks every time you put them on. But guys, for you guys that are wearing the socks with like the huge holes in them where you can like feel the air coming through your feet, this is completely unnecessary. And it's, you know, it just doesn't look good, guys. You don't want to be feeling, you know, the ground, you know, you know, the sole of your shoe as you're walking when you have your shoes on with those you know ripped up socks you just start to become uncomfortable and no one wants to feel you know unnecessary air coming through their socks plus it just doesn't look good in the first place so make sure you guys are throwing away those socks with holes in them the next one is old and worn out underwear so guys pretty much after a year year and a half really kind of pushing it i recommend you guys start to look for a new underwear the longer you have underwear the more you know bacteria can start to get down there dust mites e coli rashes allergies things like that so this is another thing that starts to happen when you guys aren't you know constantly you know renewing your underwear plus when you guys start to get holes in your underwear as well this also doesn't look good and you know it's not good so make sure you guys are constantly stocking up on underwear like I, I recommend every year just to be on the safe side like I said the underwear it constantly is around your private areas and this is where you know a lot of bacteria can get even when you wash like it's still not it's still a chance for you know bacteria to get there as well especially when the underwear is you've had it for an excessive amount of time so make sure you guys are throwing out that old underwear stocking up with some new underwear the next one is worn out shoes. So this is another one guys. When you have some, you know, great shoes that you like and you're having a hard time getting rid of them because you wear them a lot, you know, they're your first loves and you know, all the excuses that you guys have come up with. But guys, once the shoes start to become, you know, super dirty and they look, you know, like the soles are starting to tear apart, bottoms are coming apart, you know, laces are starting to rip up, shoes starting to rip up. It's just time to get new shoes guys it, it doesn't you know present your best self accordingly so it's nice to just restock if it's a shoe that you really like just get a new pair of shoes you'll feel a lot more better about yourself and you'll just have a much more cleaner look as well the next one on the list is clothes that you have not worn in over a year so i get it when you guys have a clothing item that you love and that you want to wear all the time and that you think is you know you're going to eventually wear it someday because you love it so much and then a year goes by Two years goes by, you still haven't worn that clothing item. All this one is doing is pretty much just, it's causing you to just have space in your closet that's taken up that doesn't need to be. You guys can just replace this with an item that you actually would wear or just get rid of it in general and have more room in your wardrobe to work with as well. It's a lot more, um, it's a lot more overwhelming when you have clothes in there. You have so many clothes that you don't know what to do with them versus just getting rid of them slowly and starting to you know start to get rid of clothing that you haven't worn or definitely aren't going to wear um, within the last year 